I tell you what, it's all happening. I said expect the unexpected. It's all flipping happening. Belmadi is not messing about. He is making big decisions. He's making essentially now or never decisions. Slapping his massive bleeder balls on the table, right? Rice and ball. He has not played for Algeria in a long time. Set to be in the AFCON squad for Ivory Coast 2023 if sources from Algerian media are to be believed. We're going to see the return. We spoke about the potential return of Akija. How about this one? It's all, it's all happening. The return of Rice and Bulhi. Is Mandrea going to go from number one to number three in the space of a couple of weeks? What's going on here? It's a huge call. This is a do or die call now. To bring back Rice and Bulhi into the squad, again, no one can doubt what he's done for this country. 12 years as, well, 13 years as the number one goalkeeper. Made the shirt his. It's his shirt. It's not the number one shirt. It's the Rice and Bully shirt. Now, he's been playing for local team or champions of Algeria, Sierra B. And brilliant performance, I have to say, the other day in the CAF Champions League. Man of the match away to, um, to I think it was Ahli in Cairo, of course, the stadium where he, he played and kept a clean sheet in the AFCON final. But is he going to come back? And if so, in what capacity? This is, this is unbelievable now, right? If you're Mandrea, you're thinking, I've not put a foot wrong. I've never lost. I've been unreal in goal. I've saved Algeria quite a few times, to be honest. Is he going to slip down the pecking order? What do you do here? Now, with respect to Rice and Bulhi, I think he'll understand that he's at a worse club than, than Mandrea and he's at a worse club than Nukija. He's, he's a better club than, than Ben Bort and oh, he's close with Zugba, right? But remember, on Bulhi was in the second division of Saudi before going back to, to CRB. Listen, the guy's an absolute legend, okay? He's got so much credit in the bank, he could make so many mistakes now, and people will still absolutely love him. I tell you, if we lost a game because of Rice and Bulhi, right? He'd be annoyed we lost. He'd still love the bloke. Take nothing away from him. But from him to be Algeria's number one, no, not now. You can't do that. You can't do that. Look at Arsenal and all this crap about Raya and Ramsdale and, and all the media attention on this. We don't want this because one mistake, but Muddy, you're inviting yourself to a huge journalistic pressure field because these journalists are on your back for all the little things you do. If you put Mbolhi or whoever in there and they mess up, it's going to come on you. It's not going to come on Reis or, or Alexandra. So what do we do here? I think you take him because he's a better third keeper than, than Ben Bort. Absolutely. He's at Yusma. He's at Sierra B. So it's, it's a no-brainer. But I think for the experience and the know-how and the little gems and tips of advice that Reis could give to the other players, particularly to Mandrea uh, and even Akija, I'd say you take him. As number three, you certainly take him. And if two keepers got injured, what a guy to bring in. You could sub him on for the penalties in a shootout. Could you imagine that if it goes to a penalty shootout? Race has been very good in penalty shootouts. Remember the Arab Cup victory against Morocco on penalties? He was in goal. The Ivory Coast victory in the quarterfinal? He was in goal and he saved a couple. This is a big option now. I think you take him. I don't think you make him the number one. You certainly take him over the likes of Zugba or, or Ben Bort with respect. But if you're a key Janae, you're thinking, oh, for God's sake, I finally think I might come back because it's my chance. You bring him on Bolly back again. It's like he's back to square one, the poor, poor Alex. But um, it's all happening now, isn't it? And I think if he's going to start bringing the likes of Rice and Bolly back to the AFCON, for me, this is a sign. It's a sign that Yusuf Bolayli might just get into the squad. I think if you're bringing him Bolly back, I think... Yusuf Belayli is going to be expecting a phone call very, very soon. Based off of the same logic, I think we may well see that. So let me know your thoughts on the return of Rice and Bolhi in the comments down below. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.